Hi, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Today, I want to show you how to make some really cool Halloween decorations. We're going to make some little uh, garden, garden ghosts, just some things you can stick around your garden during the Halloween season. And of course, it is coming up in Halloween season. So, I'm going to be using this uh, fence picket, all right, just a cedar fence picket, 5 eighths thick, 6 feet long, and uh, 5 and a quarter wide. And we'll be cutting some stuff out on the bandsaw. You, of course, can use a, a jigsaw or a coping saw or something like that if you have it. So let's start doing some design work. All right, so all I'm going to do is just sketch some stuff on here. There. So I got three of them laid out. You can kind of see those things. And these are all freehand. Let's go over to the bandsaw and do some cutting. First thing I want to do is chop this down into some smaller pieces. These are small enough. Now they're easy to handle. And we just follow the lines generally. There's our first ghost. My three ghosts have been cut out. Now all we want to do is put some paint on these things. I'm using a, a, a latex. All this is is an outdoor semi-gloss latex. I'm just going to slop some paint on these. Um, they're outside garden project. Doesn't really matter how nice the finish is, to be frank. I'm not, making, uh, I'm not making a piece of furniture here. So I don't anticipate anyone getting too close to these. So the ghost is shaping up. I'll be back whenever the painting's done. While the paint is drying, let's cut some stakes. So I have these pieces of uh, lath. I, I bought a bundle of lath quite some time ago, and lath is pretty useful for a lot of projects. So this is going to use this lath. Um, you can see it's going to make a great little stake. I'm going to cut them off at about 20 inches. And that should give me enough uh, enough height so these things will be able to stick out over the uh, over the bushes and shrubs. Okay, all I'm going to do is put a bit of a point on here, whack it a couple times with an X just to give me a, a sharp point so I can drive it in the ground. And there we go. Now let's go do the other three and we'll be ready to put them onto the uh, ghosts. A couple more quick steps and we're done. What I want to do is I want to glue these stakes onto the back of these uh, ghosts. I'm using a waterproof glue. And then I'm going to tack them with some uh, 5 8 brads. This is quarter inch. All I'm doing is tacking them so that they stay in place while the glue dries. And there we go. Okay. Now we just have to paint some eyes on them and we're good to go. So I'm just going to brush on some flat black and or uh, gloss black enamel that I have laying around. Nothing substantial. And when I get this done, 
I'll be back. My little garden ghosts are done. And what a great little project this has been. I'll tell you, super easy, super cheap. I use half a fence picket to make these three, so you can get, should be able to get six, out of them out of, six of them out of a picket. Great kid-friendly project. Get your kids involved uh, doing the design work, drawing on, on the, the uh, fence picket, cutting them out with a jigsaw. They'll have a blast. And of course, painting, they love painting, getting these things painted up. And once you get them painted, make the eyes. You can use a, a Sharpie, and double marker on that. Work pretty well. I'll tell you, if you want to add an extra level to this, um, get some, uh, some of that uh, glow-in-the-dark paint, all right? That would be pretty cool. I did not do that with these, so I don't happen to have it, but glow-in-the-dark paint would make these pretty slick. So, think about that. Kids will love doing this. Easy to do. Um, if you're interested, there's a link at the bottom. Matter of fact, check it out, 30minutewoodshop.com. You can check that right here, all right? Go there, you'll find a, a uh, blog with a couple sketches for this stuff. Mostly this is freehand though, so it's not anything very complex. All right? Now, all that said, hit see more down below. You'll find links to some of the tools I use and those kinds of things. And uh, hey folks, I hope you got something out of this. If you did, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, until next time, good making.